You know, I see you left that DVD room. It seems like you're in there all day. Yeah, and you never see the light of day anymore. And we never even get to go up to Disney anymore. Come on, you know how much stuff I have to review each week. We always talk about this. Okay, all right then. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this bag of chips. Ooh, look. Ooh, let's see. Let's try one. Ooh, down here, get a big one. Ooh. Ooh, a zesty one. Easy on him, honey. It's his job. Yeah, his job. The hell was that? out there. Who the hell are you people? I see you there. I got something for you. Plus this dog will tear you to bits. Where's that goddamn man? I'm gonna kick some ass. I'm gonna looking for an ass to paddle. Easy, honey. We don't need trouble. Shh. I'm gonna go straw dogs on your ass. All right, then. I'll be your backup. I've been wanting to beat some behinds. Turn on the light and just scare them off. It's us. Shit. Let's go, let's go. Hey, let's wait, go. wait, 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 wait. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> oh. Every man for himself! in my DVD dojo! Who needs friends and partying and dancing and relationships with men or women when I have you, Pat, my DVDs and my Blu-rays? This is all I need in this kingdom. So come on at me, clone. Come and get me. My DVDs will keep me safe from you, clone version of me. Look at all these physical DVDs. Haven't you ever heard of Crackle? Streaming is where it is at. See this S? It means swag. Two turntables and a microphone. Yeah, I've heard of streaming. I just like having physical DVDs. Ew, gross. You like getting physical with your DVDs, cool pooper? I knew you had a screw loose. And take off that balding hat. Who are you kidding, baldy? Hey, I I've only done it like once or twice with DVDs or Blu-rays. And hey, other me, you're wearing a, a balding cap too. I happen to be wearing a swag, name brand hat, cool doucher. And I'll take it off. No, 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 leave, leave it on, leave it on. No, 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 no one can see this. No, no, leave it on, leave it on. No, 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 leave it, leave it on for about six stars. No, leave it on. No, no, no. Get ready for that shine, baby. No, no, I can't see this. No, 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 no I can see my bald head. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Time to meet your maker. And it happens what I got is screaming. I can't see the bald head. Ah, 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 ah. 
guys, Sean T. Phillips here, and my review of Us, which is directed by Jordan Peele. You know, Jordan Peele also directed Get Out, which I absolutely loved Get Out. That was one of those movies. If you guys have not seen that movie, it's absolutely a must-watch. It's also one of those movies, though, you know, sometimes when there's a movie where it's getting, like, amazing reviews and everyone's kind of talking about it, it can kind of be overhyped, and you actually go to see it, and you're like, oh, I don't know what everyone was seeing in that. I don't, I, I, I didn't, you know, there's something, every so often I, I, I feel that way about certain things that everyone kind of talks about. With Get Out, though, that was one of those ones that I really agree that it really was like such a great movie story wise all the characters in it everything about it was like a perfect movie this one though I will say it's not as strong as Get Out story-wise, but I think this movie is going to live on just for the creepy aspect of what is going on. And there's it's actually a, quite a few original aspects of this movie as well. You know, same with Get Out. That's what I really like about Jordan Peele's movies is he really does find a lot of original kind of concepts and different things that you really haven't seen a million times before. They're not like cookie-cutter kind of movies where it's like, oh yeah, it's going to go like this, it's going to go like that. You know, and then also too, the one thing that was good about this movie was the trailers for this one you know were kind of showing you a couple things about the movie but they weren't really ruining everything because there are some trailers lately especially with comedy films where like lately they're giving away everything they're showing like every joke and the whole thing you kind of know the beginning the middle and the end and one movie coming out that I really want to see called Ma I feel though like the trailer for that one is kind of giving away so much with that movie and they're even kind of showing what looks like could be the end of the movie that's the one thing it's like I just wish movies were a little more careful you know the trailers with you know, giving away too much stuff but I will say though with us it wasn't giving away a lot of things it was you know you might have thought you were getting everything given away and you but you weren't there's was a lot of stuff to learn about this but essentially though the movie though is about this family who's going to uh, to like kind of their their um, summer house. It's near the beach. Near I think it was the Santa Cruz Beach that they you know that the, the, the house is near is near, and they go there. For one reason or another, though, the mother there, she's like, doesn't really want to go to the beach. And she's like, I, I, I don't really want to go there because of something that happened in the past there on that, you know, on the beach. So she doesn't really want to go there. But, you know, the, you know, they're all like, well, we want to go. And she's like, all right, we'll go to this beach. And essentially, though, what ends up happening, though, is... um. You know, uh, it's basically what, you know, from, from the trailers, what you've seen is they're seeing someone outside of their house at, at night, and it's, you know, people that look just like them, and they're kind of taunting them and coming after them. And that's essentially all I really want to say. I don't really want to say too much more about it, but I will say, though, like I said, the movie really, really has some very, very creepy aspects of this movie. Um, it wasn't like a super gory movie in that kind of level. So, it's like, if somebody's like, wants to see this movie and they're like, oh, I don't like movies that are really gory this isn't like a super gory kind of movie or anything like that but it's more of a super creepy movie also i really like the music in the movie i thought the the same composer did the music in get out did the music in this one and i feel like he's going to really go on and do a lots and lots of you know film scores because his music in this was so good and there was like the the theme to the movie in this one was really really good everything about it this like the tension with the music really worked so well i also thought it was really cool seeing tim heidecker in this movie you know, from Tim and Eric, and he's been a bunch of different movies, but I thought this was like a really cool part for him. I don't know, this movie all around though, I really liked it. Like I said, it wasn't as strong of a film than Get Out, because Get Out is one of those movies that it's like, it's like so perfect on all the aspects of it, and like I said, the story is so strong. This, this movie though, did have some really strong aspects to it as well, and like I said, the big thing that I was glad was that there was some surprises, that there wasn't like everything given away, and you, there was some, still some scares and some aspects of this like quite a few aspects that were like I said not given away but in the comments below though let me know you know what you guys thought of us if you guys have you know seen the movie let me know as well what you guys thought of the parody that I did thanks so much though for my brother for helping me film it and my family for acting in the parody and let me know too in the comments below though you know any movies coming up that you guys would like to see a parody of you know like anything specific you know ones I only do them when I feel like there's a really a stronger kind of odd kind of thing I can do for the parody wise but like I said let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of parody thanks again all that uh, you know everyone too for all your support and like i said too if you always enjoy these videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys later